I'm back. Initially, what I was planning to do was to just write a script for this video, like just draft it out, just plan it out. But well, I was I suddenly got into a mood of filming. But yeah, I just decided, well, just F the script, F the plot. I'm just going to say whatever that's coming out of my mind. And I'm just going to give you a raw update of what the heck happened to me in the past year. Oh, basically, shit went down. It was a roller coaster ride. Uh, bleh, it was a roller coaster ride. And I just got into adulthood. I guess that's what happened. Well, I graduated. I got into my third year of university. Third year was freaking difficult. It was tough. It was hectic. There were so many things going on. I was helping out with my family business. I was doing some freelance job here and there. And then uh, I got into an internship. I I was working at Maybank for my internship. So I think during in June, last year June, uh, my friend and I, we decided like, hey, we just want to like open up a tea business just to promote Chinese tea and Gong Fu Cha in general and just um, turning tea, like incorporating tea with like more, with like, other stuff and like um, promoting tea uh, in a modern twist and just in general promoting health, wellness and mindfulness. And that is why we decided to open our tea bar, which is called Day 8 Concept Tea Bar right now. It's in Armenian Street, Penang and... Well, this thing got us into a lot of turmoil, but it definitely made last year really interesting and really memorable. Actually, it was because um, in my third year, so I think I remember my last video, I was still in Isaac. Um, so obviously Isaac ended and a lot of things happened since like my last video. Um, there was a lot of things going on with my family and... There was a lot of things going on in my family business as well. So I had to go back and then help out with my family business. And at that time, I was juggling with Isaac work, family business, and also um, last like second semester of year two. And I got into my third year, which was so freaking difficult. Like I don't recall specifically what were the subjects that we were taking for third year first semester. But I do remember that it was hybrid at that time. So we had to go back to KL. We have to go back to campus. It was like half half. So we went back to campus. I went back to KL. And I think remember the subjects that I took was I think I remember both two two of the subjects. Which one was behavioral modification, and the other one was history of psychology, which is like, uh, history of psychology is definitely a no no. There was a lot of things going on in that first semester. I was so freaking tired. I was so tired to the point where I almost had burnt out, which I did in the second semester of my third year. So yeah, basically the two semesters was were like shit for me uh, I think most for most of our psychology students in Sunway too and then like I said um, in June I decided to open a tea business which is uh, which is what made everything like 10 times harder because uh, and 10 times busier because you have to juggle schoolwork your own business and then of course your family business and at that time I think I was also doing like just minor part times here and there so Obviously, at that um, honestly, at that time, I was thinking like I, I actually sold off my camera. I sold off my camera. I sold off my GoPro. So right now, I'm actually filming with my phone. But yeah, I was I I thought like I wouldn't even pick up filming at all. Um, yeah, for life. And I was thinking like, so what would the camera do? Is like freaking redundant to me. That's why I sold it off. And guess what? I'm back. You know, I opened a tea business and I, because I was in charge of marketing and like operations um, while my partner's in charge of networking. So when I was doing marketing, we had to do a lot of reels, we had to do a lot of design, we had to do a lot of content. And as I was doing, as, and as I was editing those reels, I realized that I actually really like filming and editing. Like, I may not be super good at that, but I think that's what gives me, like, the euphoria when I'm doing all of this stuff. It's something that I realized um, can be a small little side project, side hobby for me. And so I decided, like, hey, let's just pick up the camera again and just document whatever happens next. And also, well, just give an update of whatever happened in the past. Um, yeah, and that's why I think, uh, I hope, like, through this, I don't know, I can, like, inspire people to, like, 
run, open up their own business or just be courageous in like taking risk. Because sometimes like with risk, you just got to take the risk. If you don't take the risk, you never be out of your comfort zone and you never know like what will happen with this route. The only way you will know whether it's a success or not is if you step out and actually do it. So yeah, I've decided I'll just come back and I really um, want to pick this hobby up again and just refine um, editing and filming skills in general. It's honestly as simple as this is the most, this is like the original answer. This is the most raw, rawest, most raw, I don't know, whatever it is, form of answer that you're getting from me right now. What's next is that I will continue to, I would love to like help out like Sunway students. Because I realized right, initially when I created this channel, I honestly didn't know, I didn't expect um, people to just come out to me on Instagram and then just ask me stuff like, ask me for advice. And then when I was giving those advice, I realized that um, sometimes what people need is just like a small little, like it's just a light. You know, just a small little ignition and then they get like, Ding! Oh, okay, so this is actually what I want to do. Essentially, what I want to do with this moving forward is that I'm going to give a, a rundown. I'm going to tell all everything about my third year in Sunway University um, studying psychology. I'm also going to do a lot of like side content because I realized until today, there is still no like very little side content on YouTube and because of this, I would want to really just expand this area and like I said initially for since the beginning, which is just to help out anyone who like come across this and hopefully like find this helpful. So yeah, I definitely feel more psychology content. And second, what I'd like to do is I would like to just tell um, the screen, the camera, I guess, whatever happened last year, um, which includes um, my internship and of course the Sunway University thing and of and also like working and juggling and handling your own business and hopefully through my experience like it will not only inspire others you I don't know and it will also like be helpful in deciding what you want to do with a psychology degree and the third thing I'm going to do I'm going to dedicate another portion which is the major portion of this whole of where this whole thing is going into to vlogging um, my life and just documenting whatever happens with my life so that when I look back at these videos I actually know oh yeah so this is whatever happened here honestly thank god I documented whatever happened in my second year on this channel because if not I wouldn't remember whatever happened like just look at it at the start I don't even know what was my syllabus and all those I would only know if I actually look back at those videos and, and, and then and look at it and realize that oh, so I was doing this at this time and I was facing this at this time. So moving forward, this is what I'm gonna do. Just document document this whole journey and then in hopes that when I look back in the future, I'll know like hey, this is what I did actually at this point of at this point of my life. I hope that through my journey, which I don't know if if it's going to be a success of, or not. Fingers crossed, and I know I'm manifesting that it's going to be a success. But I hope that through this journey, whether I fail or I succeed, uh, in some way, it's going to encourage people to just be, be bold, be daring, be courageous, and just take that risk. Do whatever that you were planning to do, and that you think that, oh, for some reasons you stop doing, and you think that, oh, I can't do this because people are going to say this, say that. Like, I just F all this shit, F all these noises just do um i guess just look forward and hopefully this whole thing turns out well but yeah so peace i'll see you in the next one good night